Hey everyone, Captain Amazing here, and today we're going to do a roster review. So let's see who the wheel lands on today. Best of luck. Who's going to land on the wheel today? Uh, the worst scoundrel? The pigster, maybe? The pigster. <clears throat> Fairly common in my... Um, in my in my chats so good for good for them doing their pig thing so let's see <clears throat> see what they have to offer so it looks like they probably don't have a GL yet we have the pigster with the Bantha Raiders 3.7 million GP 2.2 then character is 1.4 in ships uh, one year and a couple months played yeah, no, no GLs. They do have Separatists, so they probably bought the Separatist bundle. A uh, usable Night Sisters, I imagine, if you have that Gear Twelve Marin. <clears throat> yeah, so Night Sisters are usable. That's nice. Let's look at the Separatist. So they're. It looks like they're trying to take advantage of Lightspeed bundles. Um, I do hope that they're getting good Watt shards and Dark Side TB before they move into Rope because <clears throat> uh, this is good right here. Um, so they have double, double Omicrons for Night Sisters. Mm, I don't know. Maybe you should just take Marin to Relics to Relic Three, so that you can use the. Uh, there's there's Datacrons for Night Sisters right now, so you could take advantage of that. Um, she's a good. She's a good <clears throat> relic. It's a good investment. I'm not a big fan of this Zam Omicron. All right, so let's uh, let's look at some of these light speed bundles. I'm sorry, uh, some of these assault battles. So, <clears throat> Treya. Treya needs to be farmed, same as Darth Nihilus. You can take them to gear 12. I 100%. There's tons of Omicrons you have that I would have preferred over um, less than Treya. So, I would say get your Treya up and running to gear 12 and Darth Nihilus to gear 12. It should be one of your earlier farms. Um, of course, it can't be like your first or second teams, but like third, fourth teams, um, Treya. And they don't require any Kyra tech, so I would say side farm, whatever you're doing, whatever pathway I say, get, like that should be your uh, as priority. All right, so <clears throat> Executor, it looks like you're farming for Executor. I do like that. That should be your priority. Just continue working the stars on your bounty hunters and your relic levels. So yeah yeah that uh, excellent 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 so xanadu blood i would maybe start double farming this ship right here um because your ig 2000 you're not seven stars yet xanadu blood not seven stars so <clears throat> i don't let's see so i i would just start farming that because you have it pretty much everything else once it because this is probably going to be the slowest thing that slows you down um this xanadu blood so i would start double farming that and then if you finish the Xanadu Blood before IG, then double farm IG as well. Once once they start getting about even, uh, if you if you catch up with that double farm. So go ahead, refresh that node and get that up and running. Um, a little a little bit of weirdness here, but I, I think it's just light speed bundles. All right, so let's see. So once you have Executor done, you're not particularly close to any GLs. So I would say <clears throat> Relic up Marin. Relic 3 would be fine. Um, let's see. Get your Start getting your light speed bundles. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I keep saying light speed. Start getting your assault battles uh, done. So Imperial Troopers. So you'll have Piet, Veer, Stark, do R5 Dark Trooper, Gear 12 Range Trooper, and, and that'll get you um, two assault battles from there once you have that done. Um, I wouldn't jump into Jedi or um, Jedi or Rebel, CLS Rebels yet. I would finish Master Qui-Gon, Padawan Obi-Wan, get them to seven stars and Relic 7 for their assault battles. Once you're done with those, <clears throat> I would go into CLS Rebels, get them all to Relic 3. Once you're done with CLS Rebels, you'll go for Jedis. And then you'll get Jedi Knight Luke. Once you're done with Jedi Knight Luke, you'll go into Jabba. This is the farming pathway that I would recommend for you. So Executor, Imperial Troopers, 
Jedi, uh, the the Poncho Bros finish uh, finish your CLS Rebels into Jedi Knight Luke into Jabba as your first GL. Um, from there, you can go JML, Leia, Profundity, um, in whatever order you want, and that'll give you <clears throat> uh, three GLs, two GL ships. Once the Lightspeed bundles come for um, SOKR and Ray, you can get those, and those are two easy GLs that you can get. And that would probably be the best farming pathway for you that maximizes where you are and what you can do, and just income uh, getting those assault battles done, smugglers run too. Uh, that's going to turbocharge your account, give you tons more resources so that you can start getting more. So you're getting pretty close to to 4 million GP. So I, I would like to see, uh, but luckily that hope, well, hopefully um, the SLKR bundle will come here pretty soon. If that happens, then you will have a, a, an answer for your, um, for the, <clears throat> that that event um otherwise you can use padme is a pretty good lead for some of them um if you get treya treya is actually really good for a lot of those um but all cls rebels is pretty good for some of those um i don't know what night sisters can do maybe maybe they can do some stuff if you get marin to relic three so there's there's a lot of things you can do to to kind of get that up and running I would say probably once you have like Padme, Master Qui-Gon, uh, Padawan Obi-Wan uh, with some others like Jedi Knight Anakin, General Kenobi maybe, maybe that can do some stuff like Padawan Obi-Wan is really, really strong. So, but as soon as you get your first GL, you should pretty much be in a good position to start doing some of those proving grounds. Um, what else? So yeah so don't don't forget to do uh treya treya regardless you and nihilus knock those out and then as far as your fleet so you already have negotiator well let's look at your galactic republic you need to start farming your republic y-wing so that should be a farming priority get that to seven stars right away um next after you farm those start working make sure you're using your get two towards the malevolence and farming vulture droid hyena bomber once you're done with both of those fleets and the executor you're going to start working on this chimera so get that tie defender gear 12 once you have tie interceptor it's really going to start singing <coughs> from there you can kind of work on whatever you want uh the home one rebel fleet the finalizer radis just one fleet at a time just keep farming all the pilot list ships um, but th that specific order what of ships I said is what I would do. Uh, let's look at your mods real quick. So you don't you you have been playing for a year. You don't have any GLs. So uh, 307. <clears throat> that's not horrible. 281. Uh, these mods are really bad. Uh, so I, I would say you know like fix the sets. Um, Padme wants all health sets. Like all this stuff is pretty garbage. So. I would say make sure you're you have like this he wants a speed set and a um all protection so i i would say you need you need to fix your mods um a lot of a lot of garbage here like this crit chance with 10 speed is is probably one of the worst things you could have done here um as far as mods not not the worst but one of the worst so yeah so crit chance you don't want crit chance triangles you want crit damage triangles um, primarily <clears throat> tenacity so yeah so your um, your mods you need to watch some mod guides follow my mod guides uh, make sure you're um, uh, go into my mod playlist watch all those use swgoh.gg to see mod primaries um, but your mods are exceptionally bad um, it doesn't seem like you know what you're doing with mods so I would get that fixed just find out what to do and how to do it and then what my mod playlist covers all of that how to how to maximize your mods what's uh what's good uh, high mod potential for speed how to equip mods how to farm mods how to use mod energy so just watch those guides and and if you have any questions let me know but you need to work on your mods and that pretty much covers the entirety of your accounts uh, let me know in the comments if you or in my testimonials if there's anything you want. Um, but I would like you to finish your executor, start working on those assault battles, 
uh, Java as your first GL, and then from there you can go JML and, and uh, maximize those Lightspeed bundles as they come in for Ray and SOKR and anything else that comes hopefully uh, within November. So yeah, thanks for letting me look at your account. Thanks for submitting, and I'll see you all next time. Take care.